Hey guys, so today I'm doing a tutorial on how to integrate the Ultra Dynamic Sky System with the Survival Game Template. Um, now, first thing you need is project, obviously, which we've got one here, fresh install of the 4.14 version 1.0.0.4, which will be available on the marketplace soon. Um, and you want to add that to your pro add Ultra Dynamic Sky to your project, obviously. So we click Add, let that do its thing. It's going to have to download, so I'll just pause the video here. Okay, so that's just finished, guys. So that will be in here. Here we go. So what we're going to do is obviously load up our map. So I'll load up the survival map here because we need to get rid of the default epic sky. So let's just click on that and go delete. Now next up, we want to drop in a ultra dynamic sky blueprint. Which is this one here. So it's in Content Ultra Dynamic Sky Blueprints and it's called Ultra Dynamic Sky BP. Just drag and drop that in. It's going to take a second because I added this to an open project. So, first things first, what we want to do is jump into our Time of Day Manager. Now, this is going to explain another thing. The best thing to do here when you're extending the template is rather than actually jump in here and change things what you want to do is create a child blueprint class give it a name or just leave it as child whatever and then you go in here and you've got a fresh blueprint to start with now this actually inherits all the logic from its parent so what we can do is go here and we can go third party update and third party initialize and we can actually just click on that and that allows us to override it. So for the third party initialize what we want to do is get all actors of class. This will allow us to get our ultra dynamic sky. So what we do is click on this one and go ultra dynamic sky blueprint there. Now there should only be one of these so we're just going to do a simple get and get zero. So what that means is it finds all the actors of this class and it gets the first one. So zero is always the first element in an array. And what we want to do with that is just save that as a reference. So promote the variable and we'll call it um, ultra dynamic sky sphere. Just neaten that up a little bit. So let's also just comment that. Get all actors of class ultra dynamic sky bp um okay there we go get the first result i don't know why the comments are taking so long but okay store first result for use okay whatever there um so that's all we need for that one there then we can go override and third party update. So these two functions are placeholder functions. I'll show you where they actually go. In here. So third party initialize runs then instead of the normal initialize system. And it runs when use custom systems enabled. And likewise in the update, which is this one. Nope, sorry, that's the wrong one. Well, basically, instead of this normal update running, it runs the third party update. So, anyway, then what we can do is here we can um, let me just think about this. What we want to do is before we do this, we actually need to jump into the Ultra Dynamic Sky blueprint. And we just need to change something here. So I'm not going to show you all this logic because this is not my asset. But what we want to do is find this bit here, the day-night cycle. And we want to just find the bit where it says set time of day, disable that. So all this stuff here is not needed. We can delete that, but I'm just going to leave it there for use. And we want to turn this into a variable. So we'll call it time from msgt. That's all we need to do in the Ultra Dynamic Sky Blueprint. Close that. So we jump back into our child. 
and what we want to do is get current time now this is going to be hidden because it's from the parent and we want to current time is the time on the day night cycle timeline so it's expressed as a value between 0 and 86,400 seconds in the day so we want to from seconds turn that into a timestamp and then we can break that time span and we can take this so the only real tricky part of this is taking the time format of um, the multiplayer survival game template and converting it into the time format of your custom system. So this is the part that's going to be different for Ultra Dynamic Sky, it's going to be different for True Sky, it's going to be different for Orbit and so on. And I will eventually do tutorials on those other two. But um, Ultra Dynamic Sky works with normal timestamps, so like 18.30 is 6.30 p.m. Uh, whereas the multiplayer survival game template uses seconds as a factor of the day. So we want to do a little bit of mass there and I'm just going to go through and do it. So we take the hours and times that by 100. Oops, I'm going to use a float multiplication there. So int times float times that by 100. Take the minutes turn that to a float then we divide that by 60 so divide by float chug in 60 there we also times that by 100 and then we add those two together so add float to float so the reason we're doing this, actually what I'll do is I'll get up a notepad, if I can spell notepad, and just use that to demonstrate. So Ultra Dynamics Guy uses times like this. That is 6.30 p.m. Uh, so that is 1 p.m. Fingers are on the wrong keys. And then obviously times like 09 or 900 is 9 a.m. Whereas the multiplayer survival game template uses 86400 as midnight. So then you've got all the numbers between 0 and 86400. So for instance, for 9 o'clock, if we bring up a calculator, 86400, divide that by 24, and then times that by 9, and this is the time we get here. So we need to actually turn this into that. And the easiest way to do that is just this math that sort I've of just chucked up here on screen. So if you just copy this, it's the easiest way. Um, so once you've got that, we want to grab this guy and then go set time from MSGT. And we plug that in to there. And that is it. So then what we should be able to do is jump into our controller and instead of the normal time of day component we're going to add time of day child which still has all the same settings so we can take a look at what's in here the only thing that's different is the altitude So we can change that to 90. And then what we want to do is click Use Custom System. Now I'm just going to speed this up to, let's say, 120, so two minutes. And we're going to change the update interval so it updates a bit quicker. And we're actually going to delete this one here. We're going to compile. So I think we also need to do a setting as well. Let's just give this. Oh, that's the other thing. You need to give the settings for the ultra dynamics guy so you give it a sunlight um, we don't have moonlight we don't have exponential light fog but we do have a skylight and go in here we're going to find there is a setting called animate day night cycle that's what we want and just one other thing we'll move this time to a different start time so it's a little bit easier to see so let's give it a start time of 
Uh, let's go seven o'clock in the morning. Okay, so you can see it's definitely simulating and the sun is very small by default. You can change that in the ultra dynamic sky settings. But it should, there we go, we can see it's updating. It's a little bit choppy just because we've got it set to go so fast. So that's how you get the ultra dynamic sky into multiple into the multiplayer survival game template. As you can see, it's a very simple process. It's also very simple for orbit and true sky. And as I said, I will cover those in a future tutorial once I've had a bit more time. Thanks for watching, guys. If there's any specific tutorials you'd like covered next, let me know. Um, other than that, thank you very much for your support.